I should have probably just done this in the one video. So vector, so physically is the exact same size image. Okay. Now I've just put any. I just said well, that's two two bytes. Okay. Now there's nothing apart from the physical size of this vector. If I decided to draw a black square, can't quite remember if that's the same position as I drew it in the previous exercise. With a bitmap, the file size doesn't change. With this, you're adding a, a new object with its attributes, so it has to be saved as the object, has to be saved with the position using the XY, the line colour, the fill colour, etc. So that may go up to 8 bytes. Now, again, I'm just making these numbers up, right? It's just to really illustrate. I might decide, well, I will draw a blue red with a bitmap, the file size will remain the same. With a vector, all you're doing, well, you're, you're adding a, a new object, it's a rectangle, you're then having to specify the coordinates of each corner, the line thickness, the line color, the fill thickness as well. So that might, that might make it go up to bytes, etc. Right? So the more objects that you add, the bigger the file size, okay, and you can get vector images that are huge file sizes because they're very complex because full of uh, very small objects to make more detailed objects, okay. But as it stands, when you start it, when you start off with a very sim simple vector image, it's a lot smaller file size than a bitmap, right? But the more objects you add, the file size can go up, and it can actually, or oh, it'll depend. remains the same again it's a pretty simplistic way of looking at it but that's the kind of key things that you want to think of with, with a vector as well the good thing with vector is these objects can be moved about they're in layers so you can easily move the layers about all it changes is the actual mathematics that saved the object and attributes that's all it saved with a bitmap you have, you can, which is a benefit, you can actually go to individual pixels and change it, but I would have to change, if I wanted to move that from here to here, I would, in a bitmap, I would have to make it white and then redraw it as black. With a vector, you can just move it, okay? And all it will change is the XY coordinates of the corner will change. And that's really a kind of a simple explanation of the difference. Hopefully that's helped.